In this video, I'm going to show you one of the very important command that you can use in a Cisco switch. This is one of the very important feature of Cisco switch that can tremendously help you to troubleshoot network connectivity issues. And many people, I would say, you know, probably less than one percentage know about this command. I recently found out about this command and I was surprised Cisco has incorporated this feature into the Cisco platform. So let's look at what the command is. That is, you can do a TDR, time domain reflectometer test in a Cisco switch port. What we normally do is when there's a connection issue and we exhaust all our troubleshooting skill, we go back to layer one to find out is there any cable break and such. To do that, you need to use a fluke or any other kind of network tester to check your cable. These uh, network fluke testers are very expensive. Even a cheaper one also is going to cost you, it's around $100, but this fluke will cost you more than $600. And you have to send someone over to do the testing but you can do everything from your console if you know this command i try to use this command in multiple platform and i will show you in which platform it worked and which platform it is not incorporated so you know what is tdr a time domain reflectometer is an electrical instrument used to determine characteristic of electrical lines by observing reflected waveform so what it happened is it sends a electrical wave and try to sense the feedback and decide whether it get all the signal and depending on the reception, it determine how the line looks like. That's what TDR is. TDR is done on a copper cable. But if you want to do the same kind of test, you have to go to OTDR. Probably you have heard this word because it's been very common used in the fiber world. So in the fiber world, to certify whether all the parameters are within the acceptable level, you need to use an OTDR to do that task. So let's go to the command. So I'm going to use the 3650. This is one of the latest switch uh, used by many in the access layer and even in the radial layer. So what you have to do is, you need to go to the port here. Make sure your port is not shut down. If the port is shut down, you will see use no shutdown to enable the port before you start the TDR test. So let's unshut the port. And then what you have to do is you need to use this command test cable diagnostic TDR interface gig 307 and what you have to do is you need to let this to run for a little bit of time i would say you need to let it run for about 10 to 15 seconds so after 10 to 15 seconds you need to use this command show cable diagnostic tdr interface gig 307 and at that point you will you can see two different kind of results if you see not complete, that means you did not allow enough time for the TDR test to run. So you need to wait for a few more seconds. And when you run again, you will see this one this open. This means the cable looks good and nothing is connected. That's what it means open. Let's go to the other platform that is Cisco 3750X. This feature is available on Cisco 3750X also. You can do the same kind of test and you will see the same kind of results in this switch also. When you run the cable test, if you see this kind of results, that means cable is good, all the pairs are good, something is connected on the other end. If you see here, 5032 is connected. There's a Dell PC on the other end. That's what I say, port enabled, device connected. Normal behavior, no issues found. That's what this results means. So let's see what is the impact of running this kind of test on a live connection. So you see uh, in the previous slide, I was running this test on gig 5032 on a Cisco 3750X and the results came as normal. So when you are running this test, you need to make sure you understand 
there will be a small brief outage because it is going to take down the connection to run this test. So I was doing a ping test on this device to see how many packets are lost. I only saw there's only one packet lost during this test. So it is not a big issue, but you need to make sure you understand there will be a small disconnection when you run this test regardless of the platform. So let's look at how to identify a bad cabling. So I was doing this test on a 3650. We were having an issue on a port. One of the access point is not coming up. And then we tried to do a fluke test. And at the same time, I wanted to use the TDR feature available on the Cisco switch to make sure both matches. As you can see here, the second pair, the cable three is bad. And if you can see here, it is telling there's a short or cross talk in this cable. So it is basically identifying exactly the same problem that your regular TDR meter can tell you. In this case, I had to send a technician to do this test. But if you know this feature, you can do it from your desk and then you can send an electrician to repunch or repair the cable. And I was trying to use the same command on a Cisco 9300. You know Cisco 9300 is the latest Cisco platform used in the access radial and core layers. This I was running on an access layer. On this 9300, I used the same kind of command, but in here the port is different. It is a F5, that means five gigabit ports. And you can see this cable looks pretty normal. Nothing connected on the other end. However, this feature was not available on a Cisco a regular 3750 switch. It is available on 3750X, but not on 3750. When I tried to run this command on a regular 3750 switch, it didn't work because let's show you what happened here. This is a regular 3750 switch and show in status. And you see, I have, you know, 48 port. I just truncated here and then four uh, gig ports. And when I run this command, test cable diagnostic TDR interface FA1041, and it says invalid because, and I put a question mark and it says this test is available only on gigabit ethernet. When I try to run on the gigabit 104, it says TDR test is not supported on interface gig 104 because there is nothing plugged in. There is no optics here. You need to have an optics for this test to run. And even though if there is an optics there, it has to be a copper optics, not a fiber optics. If you are having a fiber optics, you need to do an OTDR test, but OTDR test is not available in any of the Cisco platform because it's so complicated. You can see an OTDR meter, how an OTDR meter looks like. These meters are very expensive, probably around two to $3,000 you had to spend to get one of these meters. So try to use this command in your platform. It can be any of your switch because I don't have all kind of switches i try to use what i had but you can try to use on your switch what you are working on and see whether this command produce some meaningful results but most of the platform i'm sure cisco support this feature hope this command is going to be very useful when you try to diagnose cabling issue and if you like this video make sure you hit the like button also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any of my future videos.